So a, a big trend in residential solar plus storage right now is sourcing full systems from a single vendor when possible. And one of the leaders in this space is QCells, which ranks number one in terms of residential solar panel market share, but also has a compelling home energy storage system. And here to make that pitch today is QCells head of engineering, Drew Sutton. Hey, Drew, how are you doing today? Hey, Chris, doing great. Thanks a lot for uh, having me on here. Definitely. I've been wanting to uh, drill down into the uh, Q Home Core for a little while now. So the basic system of the Q Home Core consists of three main components. One, the first one we call the Q-Volt inverter. So that's a 7.6 kilowatt inverter, pretty standard size, most popular size there. And that connects into what we call the Q-Save batteries. QSAVE batteries, each one is five kilowatt hours, and you stack up to four of them to a single Q volt inverter to provide a 20 kilowatt hour battery per Q volt inverter. And then connecting them all together and the connection to the actual electrical service panel is a device we call the Q Home Hub. And so that's where everything gets connected, uh, communications is in there, uh, transfer switch, uh, and such to make the system complete. I wanted to start kind of with that first visual, which stood out to me is the shape of the system versus other energy storage systems I've seen. You know, it's kind of tall. It has that thin profile. The Q Home Core is our second generation, if you will. One of the things we, some strong customer feedback was installers wanted a system that, first of all, it could be easily installed. And secondly, uh, one that didn't take a lot of floor space. So when we figured out the architecture and just developed the architecture for this, we came up with um, this concept where the Q Home system, battery system and hub actually sit just off the wall and is thin like that. So this has a couple benefits. One is it becomes very easy to install. So it kind of goes together like Lego blocks. You stack the different components together with little to no wiring. Secondly, most people, many people will put the system in their garage and this shape uh, takes up very little of the valuable floor space in there and gives you a lot of options of being able to mount it in different locations, uh, either in the garage or outside. In terms of scalability of the battery, you mentioned the, the five kilowatt hour building block. Um, I, you know, I, I see just various system sizes trying to cater to a whole home backup, but then also maybe trying to cater to NEM 3.0 type, you know, not needing a super huge battery to just save some solar and not export to the grid. I guess, can you walk us through your various system sizes and kind of what you're seeing as a, as a trend of what customers are gravitating toward there? There used to be a trend, as you said, bigger is better, but now with NEM 3.0 in California, we see there's a sweet spot for a system that would have like a 10 kilowatt hour battery. So the way we've developed our system is the minimum size of system that we can support is 10 kilowatts to total. The system can also do 15 or 20 kilowatt hours as well. We have five kilowatt hour battery blocks that would plug into the system. We also have the ability to scale and put multiple inverters together. Uh, at my house, for example, about six months ago, we installed a two Q uh, volt inverters, each having 20 kilowatt hours. So in my house, I have a total of 40 kilowatt hours and can do whole home backup with that. So you're also, as a part of this, promoting an integrated rapid shutdown solution. Is that a unique feature? And I was curious if that maybe only applies with integrating the system with Q-cell modules that have a specific junction box. Yeah. So, you know, the goal of QCells, and you mentioned this at the very beginning, is to uh, source full systems from a single supplier. So we actually provide a rapid shutdown device. Um, it, it, it'll go on any module, but of course, the benefit of going to QCells is you would put it behind a QCells module and connect all that together uh, with our Q Home Core device. So this is um, in the current generation, it's an external device that plugs right into the cables. Uh, coming out of the junction box in our QCells module. Any other features or uh, spec sheet stats that you wanted to uh, point out? So the 7.6 kilowatt hour inverter, of course, is the industry standard. Um, one of the things we did also develop in that inverter was the ability to oversize, meaning that you can um, actually put more than 7.6 kilowatts 
of power DC going into it. So we actually allow a 2X oversizing, um, which means you can put up to roughly 15 kilowatts into a single 7.6 kilowatt inverter. You might consider doing that because the way the inverter works is any unused DC power going into the uh, inverter can actually be directly go can directly go into our batteries, which means you can have if you had 10 kilowatts going into the inverter and you were using 7.6 AC output, the other additional approximately two and a half kilowatts that were going into the inverter can directly charge the battery. That's that's an interesting feature that hybrid inverters have. I, I really like uh, that a lot, especially with like DC oversizing. That's kind of a trend as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I mentioned earlier the trend in residential to align with one or two brands. Um, so for an AC coupled system or a retrofit project, you know, for an installer going back to a customer to add storage, do you have a preferred solar inverter partner, or are there any particular advantages of Packing on a, a Q home with any particular uh, brands that already might be installed out there. Yeah, Chris, the, that's a good point. Um, not only can you do a traditional installation, a new installation with Q cells modules, rapid shutdown device, and such going into a Q home core, you can if you had an existing system um, by either Solar Edge or Enphase, you can actually use this same system to attach to that system so that you would add storage uh, if you already had a system of one of those two brands. In California under NEM 3.0, which we referenced earlier, uh, offering battery systems without microgrid interconnection devices that can only operate in self-consumption mode is increasingly popular. Is there an approved Q Home core configuration that allows for time of use optimization without full backup capability? Yeah, absolutely, Chris. There's actually um, there's actually three use cases, if you will, with the Q Home Core. Um, you know, the full up system is um, is as we've been talking about includes the ability to do either home or whole home backup or partial home backup. For California, we we're referencing 3.0. There's a there seems to be a great use for having a a battery system and and a lower cost version where you don't have the backup. So we call that grid service. So in other words, that would be, that's a system fully tested that can, contains um, the Q home core and the Q save battery, but no hub. So on the installation side, you don't have to worry about connecting um, either partial home backup or full home backup, but you still have the battery to discharge uh, in accordance with NEM 3.0 in California. We also have another option, which we call solar only. And we actually see um, a market for installers and customers who just want just a solar electric system. And it's completely sourced from Q-cells. So it's a Q-cells uh, panels, Q-cells rapid shutdown device, Q-cells inverter. And so that's, um, that's, that's actually gaining in popularity uh, with some of the installers because it's a system 100% sourced from Q-cells. Like one of the reasons that it seems like people or installers are trying to align or like go with one system too is just um, storage is so much harder. You know, it's not just like, uh, you know, maybe getting whatever modules are available possibly to get the, the job done, right? Like you have to really know what you're doing and it's complicated and trying to get into it you need more help and like trusting what the brand is it's a single point of contact not only to purchase all the components but also one place to call to get help you're talking to someone who can answer module questions uh, inverter questions battery questions so something i've been seeing a lot is uh, systems mentioning that they're certified to ul 9540A. Could you explain what that's all about? 9540A. It's it's a uh, it, it's a safety specification where it, testing is provided with a bat on a battery system to test what happens in the unlikely event that there's a fire or some internal um, problems with the batteries. So 9540A is a specification that a lot of the HJs or authorities having jurisdiction uh, are looking for. So that they will, they so that they can allow a system to be installed in a garage, for example. Also, 9540A specifies how far apart 
the batteries have to be uh, for safety reasons. Um, so that's the currently the latest specification on safety and it's pretty important and always check with your local uh, code uh, folks to make sure um, what is allowed as far as how to install it. Um, but 9540A is the latest uh, and is something our, our systems have been fully tested to. Does QCells offer any type of training courses on how to design and install the QHome core system? And also just thinking about the, the full product suite from modules to inverters to storage. Do you have a just an installer program to kind of get preferred pricing or anything like that if you're mostly aligned with kind of installing only Q cells? It's very helpful to help train the installers how to not only install it, but also how to design it. Like how, what's, you know, how much battery should, should you put on a house? How do you do the single line drawings? Where do you connect into the service entrance? These are a lot of new things that many installers are not used to. Uh, so we offer a full online training course that goes through how to design with a Q cells product. How do you generate single line drawings? How do you commission it? Uh, and once you have completed the course, it allows you to become able to join the QCells Partner Program. So if you go to QCellsPartner.us, it lists all the benefits of that. So switching gears a little bit, QCells is investing a lot in U.S. module supply chain on the module side, uh, from polysilicon all the way up to the fully assembled module. That's something we've been reporting on a lot, which is pretty neat. Are, are there similar supply chain efficiencies in the works on the energy storage side? Yeah, just to highlight the QCell's investment, um, you know, we have a 1.7 gigawatt plant right now in Georgia that's that's cranking out modules and has been doing so for well over a year now. We're actually adding another two gigawatts to that that should be up and running this year. Uh, and in addition, there's yet another uh, facility we're building that will um, source polysilicon all the way in glass, everything, um, cells in the U.S. So that's pretty exciting. For the ESS product, uh, the Q Home Core product, uh, we will, we have plans to also build that into, uh, build a supply chain here in the US. We haven't announced anything yet, but we're, that's certainly something you'll be hearing us talk about in the future. Drew, I just wanted to say, you know, just thanks for taking the time to stop by and make the pitch today. Yeah, uh, Chris, a pleasure. I love your, um, I love Solar Builder and, and it's been a, it's been a pleasure getting to know you.